Am I the asshole for blocking my co-worker after they tried to make my going away party all about themselves? My girlfriend decided to plan a going away party for me with my friends and co-workers to celebrate me going away to training for my dream job. Catherine started at my company just over a year after I did and we worked together in varying degrees for the past two years. Catherine called my girlfriend shortly after finding out about my party and offered to host it at her parents' island beach house, her parents are rich, and to plan the whole party. She suggested that we turn it into a short trip and that everyone could stay at the beach house. My girlfriend gave her the go-ahead to take over planning the party, so Catherine called me to ask about my availability, and who she should invite on the trip. A days later Catherine messages our group chat and says that her and Trevor would only be available after 3 o'clock, 5 hours after we had originally arranged, to drive up to the beach house. Trevor was the latest guy that she had been sleeping with and Catherine was planning to bring him to my going away trip without telling me or my girlfriend and expected me to drive him to the beach house as well. To make matters worse she was going to make me and my girlfriend sleep out in the garage so that she could have a room to herself with Trevor. Earlier that day my mom told me that she was planning a family only going away party for me on a day which would have conflicted with Catherine's party. I took this as a sign and messaged the group chat telling them about the conflict and said that I probably wouldn't be able to go anymore. Catherine texted me and got mad at me for bailing after she worked so hard to contact people and invite them. I told her that my family comes first and that I also thought it was rude to bring some random guy to my going away trip without asking first. Catherine then said that she was going on the trip anyway and removed my girlfriend and I from the trip group chat. The next day I was in a Discord call with a few friends that I had asked Catherine to invite and asked them if Catherine had talked to them about the trip. Turns out, that Catherine had never even invited them and only invited her friends from our workplace. I told my girlfriend, who decided to call Catherine out. She told Catherine that she was being selfish and had made the entire going away party about her, instead of me. My girlfriend accused her of using my going away party as an excuse to show off her beach house and her new man. Catherine started spamming me with messages and demanded that my girlfriend and I apologize. I told her that I was already stressed and busy because of my move and that I didn't want to deal with any drama before I leave and asked her to keep me out of it. She started insulting me, calling me a terrible friend and demanding that I apologize to her. I ended up blocked her number and social media accounts so that she couldn't message me anymore because I didn't want to deal with the headache. Am I the asshole here? Edit 1 bit more information to clear up some questions. I knew that my girlfriend blocked Catherine before I did, after calling her on her shit. So at that point I just wasn't interested in hearing anything from her. Catherine is a mutual former co-worker of ours, girlfriend and mine. But I had worked in the department for longer, so I still have connections within the department whereas my girlfriend doesn't, my girlfriend only worked there for about 6 months. I said what I said with my GF's blessing, so that I didn't burn any bridges from my former job by tearing into Catherine and having her spread around a heavily edited story about what I did and or said, she has a history of doing so. NTA who plans a going away party and then tells the guest of honor they have to sleep in the garage and doesn't invite their friends? Not the asshole. Leave her blocked, she is no friend. Not the asshole. Catherine seems like kind of a nightmare, if I'm being honest, and you hit the nail on the head with saying she was using your party as an excuse to show off her beach house and new BF. I don't see why she couldn't just host a regular party and had to use a party for you as an excuse. Not the asshole good on you for blocking her. Wow. You wanted your going away party to be about you while having your friends there? Unbelievable. YTA no, seriously though, Catherine is just so entitled. Not the asshole. Not the asshole your girlfriend is right. She used your party as an excuse to make it about herself. She didn't even bother inviting your friends. I think she only wanted you there to drive her boyfriend. Mostly not the asshole, but I'm not sure why you would care that Catherine invited her boyfriend along. She was doing you a big favor by hosting, so her guy being there doesn't seem like a big ask. Obviously, the rest of her actions make her the asshole, but you seem weirdly resentful of Trevor. Makes me think you and Catherine have some sort of history. Not the asshole she didn't even invite the people you would have wanted there. She absolutely used the party as an excuse. Not sure why she couldn't have left you out of the mind games. Am I the asshole for adopting a dog against my parents' wishes? I'll start by saying that I don't think that I'm an asshole, but both of my parents are extremely mad at me right now calling me a little shit and an asshole for doing something they told me not to do. 
However, having some some outside perspectives could help, as there isn't really any bias. I am currently 23-year-old man who just graduated college and got a well-paying job. I recently moved in with one of my old childhood friends who recently dropped a mortgage on a house and needed a roommate for financial reasons. We split everything, mortgage, utilities, internet. Even before I agreed to move in with him, I expressed interest in eventually getting some pets, specifically, one dog and one cat. He said maybe in the future, but he doesn't really want to deal with pets right now, that's reasonable, it's his house. It's now been four months, and I again expressed interest to my roommate about getting a pet, specifically a dog. He again tells me that he doesn't want to deal with a pet, but he may change his mind in the future. This is completely fair, but I've been wanted a pet for a long time. I wanted one in college, but my parents were financial supporting me back then, and stonewalled me when I asked if I could have one all four years I was there. I give my mom a call and told her about the situation. I basically said that I plan on getting some pets in a few months, but my roommate doesn't want them. Having a pet is really important to me, so I basically told my mother that if nothing changes in the next month or two, I will probably be moving. My mom explodes on me. She told me that I am not really to adopt a pet right now because I just graduated, and that a 9-5 job doesn't allow me the luxury to be a pet owner. She told me that I cannot have a pet. I told her that I didn't call for her opinion on the situation. I called her to vent and she continues to lecture me about how she didn't get a pet until she owned a house. After this goes on for a bit, I hang up furiously. She then proceeds to text me about my inability to be a pet owner. The next day I talk to my roommate to clear things up. His biggest worry turns out is that he will have to be responsible for the dog and he doesn't really want to deal with that. I told him that he will have little responsibilities, the most I'll ask him to do is let him go outside and maybe feed him I can't. I told him that if I give him too much responsibility after a bit, he can kick me out and there won't be any hard feelings. He agreed. The following week I get the dog, his name is Boba. I then told my parents and they explode. They told me that I went behind their back and got a dog after they told me that I couldn't, called me a, little shit, and an asshole for not listening to them. I blocked their number after that. Am I the asshole? Edit. Clearly I messed up with my roommate. I manipulated him into saying, yes, when it was a clear no. I will be moving out in a few months so he can find another roommate. I will be getting my own apartment, so I can treat Boba right. Over and out. Okay, Esh, accept your roommate. Here's why. He said no and you basically didn't care. You kept pressuring until he agreed. Honestly, due to it not being your parents' house, they have no stake in it and should have kept their mouths shut. You're an adult that doesn't live with them, but your poor roommate. That was where you were so wrong and ta. You wouldn't take no for an answer. Really. That was an asshole move. Info. So why did you get a pet after your roommate kept saying no? You are the asshole. You basically peer pressured your roommate into letting you get an animal and then saying he could kick you out and possibly put him in a financial worry because you wanted a pet. I'd kick your ass out. You're manipulative. Your mom has nothing to do with this story because in every scenario I can come up with, you're an asshole. Get your own place. Your parents have a point though. You work 8 hours a day. Who's with your dog during those hours? Dogs are social animals, they need, want company. They also need to go on walks regularly. It sounds a bit like you were so dead set on getting a dog that you decided to ignore the dog's needs and your roommate's, who's also your landlord, opinion, feelings. And you say he'll have, little, responsibilities. No. It's your dog, your decision. 100% your responsibility. 0% his responsibility. But your parents getting that angry is pretty weird. You're an adult and don't need their permission to do anything anymore. They sound very controlling. All in all, it sounds like everyone sucks here to me, aside from your roommate and the poor dog, obviously. You aren't living with your parents. You and your roommate have an agreement. TBH though there should never be a time your roommate has to feed your dog. It is none of your parents' business. They aren't supporting the animal, you are. Not the asshole for getting the dog against your parents' wishes since you don't live with them and they don't have a say, but. Y.T. A for getting a dog when your landlord, roommate was clearly against it. You can't agree that he would have no responsibility for it and in the very next sentence say that he would possibly need to let it out and feed it when you aren't around. Esh, except for your roommate. You are on your own, completely independent of your parents, so they have no say in whether or not you get a pet or anything for that matter. 
However, when you refuse to accept no for an answer a request becomes a demand. You continuing to ask your roommate after he had said no multiple times was manipulative and immature. You knew he didn't want a pet, but you wouldn't let it go until he basically said yes, to get you to shut up. Your parents should mind their own business, but I feel really bad for your friend. He just bought a house that he might want to keep nice, and you just kept asking and asking and asking him for a dog until he acquiesced into saying okay. He doesn't want a dog in his house, but he didn't want to kick you out either. You're not the a-hole for telling your parents to mind their own, but they are right that you are the asshole. Am I the asshole for telling my kids something my husband explicitly told me not to? I, 38F, have three kids, 13F, two 16-year-olds one male one female they are twins. All three of my kids have friend groups and are dating, 16s have been dating the same people and have been friends with generally the same group since middle late school, 13 just recently got a girlfriend and only has one friend at the moment. Me and my husband, 42, have always been fine with their partners and friends coming over as long as they shoot us a text first, our only rule is that there is no bringing a new person over every single day, no staying up past 1am max. Recently, my husband has been trying to change our family dynamic a lot, family breakfast and dinner instead of our usual grab and go to our room, constant outings and game nights, etc. We have family time often, but not to this extent, 4-5 times a week now. Last week, he proposed the idea of a family meeting to me. We have never had one of these, never needed to, if something needs to change we just talk about it whenever we're all free. He discussed this to me in private, I told him I hated the idea. The meeting was apparently supposed to be about how he no longer wanted our children to have company over and that he doesn't want any outside kids in our house. All of my children have very sweet friends, some of them even offer to wash dishes after dinner kind of sweet. None of them are loud, messy, bad influences, etc. Maybe a few swears and inappropriate talk, but I chalk that up to them being teenagers. He asked me to keep this a secret, that it was mandatory, and he'd tell the kids the night before. I was pissed I also had to be forced to a family meeting because he refused to even budge about it being mandatory so I ended up chatting to a friend about it over the phone. Turns out my 13 was listening in, and I told her about it since she asked. My 16s then joined in, we all talked about it together and agreed it was a weird unwanted change. Kids asked me to talk with him about it because they thought it was unfair they all of a sudden couldn't have friends over for some unstated reason. I told my husband the full story I also told him that everyone thought it was unnecessary for it to be a meeting and mandatory, that he should have just told us all up front if he had an issue with any friends, etc. Husband blew up about how this meeting was incredibly important, still refused to say why it was, and that we would all be coming whether we liked it or not no matter what. The meeting is in two days, I don't want to fully blow my husband off since this is apparently important, but since he refuses to tell us all what the actual issue is. I want to just take my kids out of the house for this appointed meeting unless he actually tells me what his issue with our children's company is. I see no true point in it if all guests are respectful and haven't made trouble. Edit. We are going to the old man's meeting now, but if it blows up in his face and kids are upset with him, I won't punish them for disagreeing, or even straight up telling him he's wrong. I would say not the asshole because this is a huge thing to blindside your kids on and very controlling. This is just weird. Is he typically controlling or display any abusive behaviors? It's odd to me that he's trying to alienate everyone in the family from the outside world, which could be concerning from an abuse side of things. Has he had a recent doctor's visit, health scare, death in the family where he's taking family time more seriously? Just so many questions. Not the asshole seems like your husband is having issues with control within the family. Refusing to communicate unless at a time that he dictates? Mandatory family time taking up more of everyone's time and refusing to allow his children's friends over? At an age where your children should be gaining, not losing independence? Your husband is either taking a nasty, controlling turn or, hopefully, is just struggling with his family growing up and isn't adjusting well. Not the asshole because your husband is unilaterally changing household rules that you oppose by having this odd mandatory meeting, which you also oppose. Your children are absolutely at the right age to be asked how they feel about rule changes, absent some compelling safety thing. Does this, no friends in the house rule, coincide with your 13-year-old getting her first girlfriend? Cause if so I spy some homophobia. Not the asshole. I'd vote for malicious compliance in this instance. You and the kids turn up to his dumbass, 
family meeting, and politely, and silently, let him say his piece. Then take a vote on whether you agree or not, and it's going to be, not, isn't it? Otherwise there wouldn't be all this secrecy pantomime. If he protests, cheerfully say, okay, well feel free to raise this again at the next family meeting in one month's time. We look forward to hearing any new arguments and evidence then. Meeting adjourned. Then you all get up and go. Just because he gets his meeting doesn't mean he gets his way. Not the asshole. If your husband won't discuss his issues with you beforehand he can't expect you to side with him at the meeting. Parenting is something you do together and it sounds like you've been managing it as a team up till now. It's worrying that he's suddenly changing his wants and demands and no longer feels you shoked be part of the parenting, decision-making team. Not the asshole but NGL this is the most interesting post on here I've seen in weeks. Please update us after the meeting I am so invested now. It's super weird that your husband is suddenly changing his behavior like this. You honestly sound like a wonderful mother and the dynamic between you and your kids sounds really healthy and respectful, I love it. Not the asshole. I noticed you said the 13 was female and dating a female. Is this correct? Could he be secretly homophobic and it's eating at him? This change doesn't come from nowhere. Something is bothering him about the kids. Not the asshole. Also, would you mind making an update after this meeting happens? I really want to see where this goes, not gonna lie. Am I the asshole for uninviting my mother? Obligatory I'm on mobile, sorry for any bad formatting. Me, 32 male my fiancé, 34 female, and my sister, 16 female, are living together. My sister came out as trans at 14, and has been given a hard time for it from our parents. Our parents' house has been damaged, floods in Germany, and it turns out that they cannot move back in due to the mass amount of mold. Me and my fiancé have only got space for one extra person, and we decided it would be better for my sister to move in. Well, during her stay, my mother decided to disown her for being trans. Disgusting. I sat down with my fiancé that night and had a long chat we ended up adopting my sister and I haven't seen her smile like that in years. Turns out, our father had been more supportive quietly, making it possible for my sister to start estrogen. None of us are quite sure how, but he works in the medical field so maybe he pulled some strings. We continued the treatment and she feels far more comfortable in her body. Well, me and my fiancé are getting married in a week, and my mother came over to visit us. She flipped when she saw my sister looking more feminine than she remembers, and demanded that she be, the boy she used to be, at the wedding. Tuxedo and the likes. My fiancé went nuts. Screamed at her for invalidating my sister, for trying to control someone who isn't even him her custody, for trying to control the wedding. I joined in, and it turned into a shouting match. My sister quietly said that she can, be the boy she used to, for one day which is when I turned to her and said that she can dress however she likes because, that witch, isn't going to come to the wedding. Mum left and I apologized to my sister for raising my voice like that, for I felt that she was very uncomfortable. I have been bombarded with messages from my maternal family about I inviting her and, feeding into her son's delusion. It's been getting a bit too much for me and I'm starting to lose sleep should I have been kinder? Am I the asshole? Update. Me, my fiancé and my sister have somehow been formally uninvited by my maternal family, from the meal before the wedding, which was to be hosted by us, we are currently bent double laughing. Thank you for the kind judgment. We're replanning who's getting invited. Some of the descriptions of the family members are just amazing. I'll nick those next time I have a confrontation with any of them. UPDATE2. All maternal family members are officially uninvited. Quite a few of my cousins use Reddit, so if you see this, hi. Your aunt sucks and the story she's telling you is a lie. UPDATE3. Had the pleasure of waking up to walls of text messages, mainly threats, from my maternal family, and after reading your comments, we've decided to hire security. Thank you so much for all the kindness and support. I've shown my sister the comments and she is very appreciative. Wedding is on Wednesday. I'll update on the situation if I can. Also found someone trying to imitate my mom she'd never go on Reddit so please don't believe that troll. Not the asshole it's great your sister has you and your fiancé to support her. If I were you I'd rescind an invitation to the wedding and cut off anyone who sent you a nasty message about your sister. Not the asshole. You're an awesome brother for totally accepting your sister as the person she knows herself to be. As for your wedding, invite or disinvite whomever you want, it's your wedding. Your mother is going to be nothing but trouble if she attends. Just keep being you. You're doing a great job.
Wait so they tried to uninvite you to your own rehearsal dinner? Oh yeah time to revoke everyone's wedding invites and let them know they will be removed if they show up. Sorry your mother and her side of things let their bigotry fly all over your sister like this. You guys are better off without the lot of them. Oh and make sure you let your mother know she's no longer welcome in your home and is to not approach your sister. Not the asshole. Nope. It sounds like you've got more family to uninvite. Your sister's mental health is more important than your mom's wishes. Aside from that, if she's can't be kind to your sister and keep her mouth shut at your apartment, what do you think is going to happen if your sister caves to her wishes at your wedding and your mom and her family are there? Both she and you are going to be bombarded with shit and you're both going to feel awful about it later. At this point, mom has had more than enough chances to be a decent human being. If she hasn't learned by now that you can disagree with someone without being nasty, she surely will not buy your wedding. I'd recommend cutting ties completely. Congratulations on your wedding. I truly hope that wonderful for all of you. Hey from a LGBT person, your fiancé being so angry, so defensive and protective of your sister made me cry. You both seem like incredibly wonderful people, awesome allies, and I wish you a happy life together. Not the asshole x 10,000. Not the asshole. Congratulations on your upcoming marriage. Wishing you a day steeped in joy, pride, and the support and love of those who you want to attend. Not the asshole. That woman disowned her own child, for what her own family calls it a, desillusion. She is no mother to any one of you, she doesn't deserve it. Not the asshole ever for standing up against transphobia. This is obviously way beyond hoping your mother will change with education and awareness. I believe yelling is almost always the wrong way to solve problems, but in this case it was the right thing to do. Your sister may be uncomfortable with it now but she'll remember what you and your fiancé did to stand up for her later and it could be the difference of life or death or healthy coping versus substance abuse. I hope your father will stop, quietly, supporting your dear sister and step up.